Well, you tell that to my boy tonight when you put him to sleep on the living room couch. And you tell it to him in the morning when his mother goes out of here to take care of somebody else's kids. And tell it to me when we want some curtains or some drapes and you sneak out of here and go work in somebody's kitchen. All I want is to make a future for this family. All I want is to be able to stand in front of my boy like my father never was able to do to me. I must sketch now the famous Bobby Kennedy meeting. Lorraine Hansberry would not be very much younger than I am now if she were alive. At the time of the Bobby Kennedy meeting, she was 33. That was one of the very last times I saw her on her feet, and she died at the age of 34. I miss her so much. People forget how young everybody was. Bobby Kennedy, for another quite different example, was 38. We wanted him to tell his brother, the president, to personally escort to school on that day or the day after a small black girl already scheduled to enter Deep South School. That way, we said, it will be clear that whoever spits on that child will be spitting on the nation. He didn't understand this either. It would be, he said, a meaningless moral gesture. We would like, said Lorraine, from you a moral commitment. He looked insulted, seemed to feel that he'd been wasting his time. Well, Lorraine sat still, watching all the while. She looked at Bobby Kennedy who perhaps for the first time looked at her. But I'm very worried, she said, about the state of the civilization which produced that photograph of the white cop standing on that Negro woman's neck in Birmingham. Then she smiled, and I am glad that she was not smiling at me. Goodbye, Mr. Attorney General, she said, and turned and walked out of the room. And then we heard the thunder.